In our last video, we covered building our own custom weapon. This video, we're going to go over the simplest portion of creating a custom armor. And keep in mind when you're doing this that we'll be able to use custom nips. I know that in the last, the last video and in this one, uh, I'll be using Skyrim native weapons and armor. But there's nothing to say that when we target the nif that you couldn't use your own. So this really is about making a cu fully custom armor. It's not about just creating the new item in game. This is actually literally new items with new AMDL or sorry, new uh, NIF files. So four steps for creating custom armor. Uh, we need to make an armor add-on, which is basically giving a reference to what the the mesh is going to be, both in first person and in third person. So the armor you're wearing. Um, for male and female, and it's going to tell it what races use this armor. Um, and we'll also need to make a uh, item ID and name, just like in the weapon video. So that that's the reference for the item and what it actually is called in game and in the engine. Uh, we'll make a smithing recipe, and we'll make a, re a tempering recipe. So how do we build it, and how do we upgrade it? So without further ado. I have already loaded up the data file. Um, I have grabbed the Skyrim.esm and I've double clicked it to check it. Turn off the other ones. Just say OK. We're going to once again use a, an existing item to get our jump off for the start of our, our uh, creation process. So we're actually going to just filter for Iron Curious. So you'll see, similar to the weapons, we have an Armor Iron Curious. In this case, we want the Ar Iron Curious AA, which is the armor add-on. And then we have Recipe Armor Iron Curious and Temper Armor Iron Curious. What I want you to do is right-click and duplicate each one of those I just called out. So Armor Iron Curious, Iron Curious AA, Recipe, and Temper. Now remember, this does not repopulate when you when you uh, add items there. So we're going to go in, put a space or a period or something, and delete it off. And now you'll see each one of those things we duplicated will have copy 0000. Oh, 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 oh. Two, three, four. Perfect. Um, first thing we're going to open up is the Iron Curious AA copy. This is going to be the reference for our model. You'll see in here um, a lot of information. And since we started from the Iron Curious in the first place, we've already got a lot of things selected. You'll see over here on the far right, we have all the races that use it or can use this this armor. Um, we have the biped object, what areas it covers. And then we also have um, a biped model for our male and a first person for our male, as well as a biped model for a female and a first person for our female. We need to set all four of these over here and make sure we give it a proper name. So this is going to be a new new armor, and I'm going to dedicate this one to my friend uh, Ronnie from from uh, you know that show with the situation, with the hell, Jersey Shore. Ronnie, this is going to be for for Ronnie, um, aptly named. Come at me, bro. At me, bro. Once again, no spaces. Um, I'm going to give him. Just an armor so you can see that it clearly changes when I create this new item. Uh, the Curious Light 1 is going to be unacceptable. I'm going to make this guy look tough. So in order to do this, we hit Select and then hit Edit in Model File Name. And once you've ex extracted all of your uh, meshes from your BSA, you'll have all the original models in these folders. I'm going to put him in the Daedric Armor. Not that that's appropriate, but that's what we're going to do. Um, and so I'm going to find the male Curious 1. So you see, oh, that's first person. So Curious 1, Daedric Curious 1. So the heavy version of it. There's there's the uh, model in viewport. Perfect. I'm going to also select his first person model. Similar. Armor. Daedric. And then first person Curious 1. So now you can see the, this is just an, a set of arms. So you're going to have to make these nits yourself if you make a completely custom, ar a custom armor. 
Um, then we'll select the female, select the female curious once again. And there's, th there's nothing to say that while you're creating custom armor, um, you couldn't just hook up just the male to test it out. Once you get, you know, get everything working, go and do the conversion for the female, but, um, or vice versa. But the, the process is the same. So we go into Daedric armor and the torso, or sorry, the curious for her is called torso F, which is annoying. Bad naming. Bad Bethesda. Oops. So you see that pop in? Got that in there. Perfect. Um, and we want to set the first person model. Um, that's an error. And we want to say yes to all here. We don't care. Oh, come on. I'm going to say edit. Once again, armor. Daedric. Uh, then we need to find first person. Torso F1. There it is, it's working. So just always verify that your model is hooked up in here. This 3D viewport is a very big help in that regard. This window here, we don't need to mess with anymore. Say yeah, or say no, do not actually create a new form. This is the same as before. We duplicated so that we would just rename that. Oh, fiddle faddle. I'm not sure. I guess I unclicked that. So now, now my uh, my my AA isn't going to show, but we'll show it in a second. Um, our second thing we're going to do is set up our uh, our item, and this will allow us to then create a recipe that references it. So up here, we're going to double click on the iron, armor iron curious copy. Um, once again, naming it is is important. So this in this case, I'm going to delete everything about the iron curious, and we're going to say armor. Come at me, bro. No, seriously, come at me, bro. Um, we're going to give it a value so we can see that's clearly very valuable. 100,000. Bam. Done. On it. Um, we will also give this an enchantment. So it's going to start out, I feel like, fortify unarmed. I don't know if you saw that whole disaster. We're just going to give him the fortify unarmed. So basically, this is going to be pre-enchanted, which is pretty slick. I'm going to give it a weight of 1, because he's unarmed. He doesn't even have to have... That's it. He's done. Um, you can see the weight class here. Uh, when you make multiple items, you can set light or heavy. Um, it has to do with perks and things like that. Uh, armor rating, clearly that's going to be at least 100, obviously. All right, so default race just says what is this for? Um, in this case, default race is appropriate. That's going to be for our PCs. Um, down here, you'll see the Iron Curious AA. That's the armor add-on. So basically, if we hadn't changed anything right now, armor come at me, bro, is going to be armor Iron Curious. So let's delete Iron Curious and right-click again and say new. And we'll just say come at me. There we go. Come at me, bro. We should have named, or named this appropriately. This should have been named Come at me, bro, AA. Just so we know. It's, it's important to have a clear idea of what's going on here. Um, but mistakes are made. Uh, another thing we'll want to do is change the world model. This is something also that you'll have to generate. Uh, in this case, once again, I have all these things because it is the Daedric Armor. There is a ground object. DJ Curious Go is the ground object. So there you go. There's the Curious by itself. We say OK. We can actually copy and paste this, actually. So I'm going to just drag and copy this for the female world model. As far as I know, they don't actually change that. Or maybe they do. Let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Doesn't seem to be. So, yeah. So, we're going to just go with the same one. Oh, that's boots. Mistakes are made. Don't worry about it. But, okay, so here, let me show you the copy and paste trick. So, I can just actually copy this whole, this whole line. Go into edit. Hit edit in the model file name and just paste there. Because we're already in the meshes folder, it's going to get it. It's going to grab it. So, we'll be good there. Um, and then 
just like the weapon, we can give it different armor classes. Like So in this case, it says armor, material, iron, which means that when we go to our crafting, um, when, we, when we have the iron crafting unlocked, we'll be able to see uh, Come At Me Bro in the in the armor class. So that should be it. We should be able to say okay with that. Uh, we do not want to create a new form. Just say yes. And then our last set of things will be making the recipes. So that's easy enough. Same exact process as the um, the weapon. So recipe armor, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Um, and we want to create, obviously, armor, come at me, bro, in the created object. Um, and we want to do it at the smithing forge. Perfect. And we will make it only require leather strips one more time, and only one of them, just so it's quicker to, to build. We could, you can make this, you know, any number of items, and they could be custom items if you were so inclined. After you'd created the item and set it all up so it could be used in game, you'd be able to hook them all into this. So, um, if you need to get some Ron Ron juice, collect that to build this. That's an option. Um, so we'll say okay. Say no, we do not want to make a new form. Say yes, that's all right. And then one more time, we'll do the temper. Appropriately named for Mr. Ron Ron. Delete. And then we will say come at me, bro, once again. Armor, come at me, bro, in the created object. It's important. Uh, workbench is crafting smithing armor table, right? Um, we're going to change our ingot iron right now to leather strips. Count one, cool. We can leave the match conditions alone. That's you know just it's standard for all all weapons and or armor. If they're not enchanted, you can smith or you can smith them. And if they are enchanted, you need the perk. Pretty simple. Once again, do not make a new form. Say yes. And now we save. I'm going to say this is Ron Ron. All right. And now when we go into Skyrim, make sure we load up that data. Hmm. Okay. Load data. Make sure that's Ron Ron is selected. Turn off that. I'll leave the situation on. We'll say OK and play. I'm pretty sure I'm recording. Let's just take a look here, people. Seem to be recording. Okay, good. Um, so let's run over to the forage and check this out. Oh, come on. Over to the forage. Use the forage. Now, since we have it in the iron material type, it's going to be in iron. But you'll see when we when we select it, um, it costs it just costs one leather or yeah one leather strip to make. It's got a hundred thousand value. That's great. One weight and a lot of armor. I guess I have oh because I have the uh, the perk for a bonus to your your armor. Anyway, uh, so yes, we'd like to create this armor, and we'll go out of here into my inventory, apparel, equip it, and there he is, Ron Ron, in his come at me bro armor, with the situation in hand. So that's it. The processor is real quick. Obviously you can do a little bit more with the perks and, and uh, enchanting, but this will let you get a custom armor into the game. Thanks for watching. It's Joe Pickup from SoMuchMonsters.com.